Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is consider the following autosomal drosophila traits caused by recessive alleles that is uh, bent wings, short legs and orange eyes. You cross two true breeding lines to produce F1 flies, all of which have the wild type phenotype which is a straight wings, long legs and red eyes. F1 females are then made to truly um, homozygous males with bent wings, short legs and orange eyes. Among 100 progeny from this cross you observe the following phenotypes. And if you add all these numbers you are going to get 100. So here is a question. What are the genotypes of the two true breeding parental lines that were crossed? As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. Those people who are good uh, at mathematics probably would take uh, a pen and would start doing different calculations, but actually this kind of problem can be solved under 5 seconds. As you know, all uh, chromosomes in our organism are duplicated. Uh, one set we got from the mother side, another set we got from the father side. And this is also true when we talk about flies. Flies are also deployed. So what happens during meiosis? Uh, imagine that this is one chromosome from the uh, mother side and here is uh, another chromosome homologous chromosome from the father side. During meiosis uh, all the chromosomes duplicated. So uh, chromosome from the mother side and from the father side would duplicate and would make a tetrasome. So as you see we see here four chromosomes that we call tetrasome. And uh, when we have uh, genes on the uh, any of these chromosomes. This is once again homologous chromosome. So if we have gene A for example here, we also have the same gene on the homologous chromosome from the other parent. And uh, as you understand, uh, if we have two set of genes that separated by some distance, and the longer this distance, uh, we may have uh, in many places uh, where uh, crossing over might happen. And if this distance would be uh, very short, for example, if uh, genes would be just next to each other, as you see, uh, we would have uh, probability that crossing over would happen here. Uh, such probability would be less than when we have two genes that is separated by large distance. So according to this logic, if we have three genes that uh, loci are next to each other, we can expect that uh, these three genes would be inherited uh, together more frequently than if uh, these three genes would be separated with greater distance or if uh, the three genes would be on three different chromosomes, three different non-homologous chromosomes. In this case, we wouldn't be able to see any tendency that these three genes would be inherited together uh, by no any statistical means. And if you now would take a look at this table, you would uh, instantly see that here we have two numbers that uh, has high score than uh, all the rest numbers. And these numbers give us information that these three genes located on the same chromosome and uh, they have tendency to be inherited together and that these two uh, phenotypes are phenotypes of the parental generation and uh, as you remember this is these numbers represent F2 generation. So um, 
our question was what are the genotypes of the two true breeding parental lines. So we have uh, one more hint here that uh, uh, breeding lines, parental breeding lines are true breeding. What does it mean? Um, as you know, when we have two alleles, for example, allele A that is capital A and recessive allele A that is small a, we can get three different genotypes. One would be capital A, capital A. Another one can be capital A and small a. And the third variant would be, uh, third combination would be small a, small a. And among these three genotypes, this one would be homozygous dominant and this is going to be homozygous recessive and only these two uh, can be called true breeding. So whenever we cross this genotype with another same genotype we always would get the same genotype. And the same true if we cross this genotype with the same genotype we always would get the same genotype. But if we would uh, cross this genotype uh, with itself, we wouldn't get uh, the same genotype. We can get capital A, capital A, small a, small a, and capital A, small a genotypes. So um, this is also very important information for us. So let's check uh, these parental genotypes. One uh, parent had straight wings. So bent wings we designate with bn minus so that means that uh, straight wings we designate with bn plus bn plus short legs and short legs uh, we designate with uh, sh minus so sh minus S H minus. This is recessive trait. So if uh, we see short legs, we can say that uh, this trait cannot be S H positive and S H negative because uh, otherwise this would uh, mean uh, long legs. But we have short legs, so um, that means both alleles have to be recessive and red eyes. And red eyes, uh, as you see, orange eyes designate with OR negative or minus. That means that uh, red uh, eyes would be dominant uh, trait and uh, we designate it as OR positive, OR positive. And we cross with another parental genotype that has, as you see, bent wings and bent wings this Bn minus, so Bn minus, Bn minus and has long legs and uh, this is SH positive, SH positive and also has orange eyes and this is O R negative O R negative. So now uh, we have two genotypes of uh, two uh, parents of parental generation and uh, as you see it is very easy to say uh, what is the genotype of the uh, F1 generation, so this parent can contribute only being positive and this um, parent only can contribute being negative. So for this gene in F1 generation we would have being positive, being negative. And for this gene we would have um, one allele that is SH negative, another that is SH positive. And for the last gene, this parent can contribute only OR positive and this parent only can contribute OR negative. 
So as you see, F1 generation is heterozygous for all three genes. And because uh, in each allelic pair uh, has one dominant um, allele, uh, as you see, according to our problem, F1 generation, all of which are wild type phenotype. So uh, because uh, heterozygous for all three genes, phenotype would be straight wings, long legs and red eyes in F1 generation. And as you remember, then F1 generation, uh, females were taken with uh, from this generation, were made with truly homozygous males, homozygous recessive for all three traits. So uh, this is how we got these numbers. Now you know that uh, if uh, genes are on the same chromosome, they have uh, some connection uh, depending on um, where these genes are located. Uh, frequencies uh, of the crossing over would be different and if genes located are close enough, we would see that uh, they would have tendency to be inherited together more frequently, then uh, we would have um, uh, different genotypes that would be a result of uh, crossing over. I hope this information will be helpful for you and now you would be able easily to solve analogous problems on your exam. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.